Hi, I'm Dennis Zimmerman. I'm uh, the camp director of the Yukon Fish and Game Outdoor Education Camp. Uh, we have 15 kids uh, aged 13 to 16 and they're from all over the Yukon and they come to this camp and they learn many different things, uh, mainly about fishing, hunting and stewardship. It's been happening for many years and this year we decided to mix it up a little bit and uh, try to go out into a bigger lake and target whitefish. Whitefish are a, a great fish to fish for because I mean, fishing for them is a lot of fun. They're, they're great to eat, uh, they fight really well, they're, they're really abundant and they can be really easy to catch. Uh, but they're also a really sustainable choice. Really very few people fish for them and I think it's because people generally don't know how. Um, you do have to use pretty different methods than you would use for say lake trout or, or for pike. And so uh, yesterday and today we were showing the, showing the kids at the camp how to get set up the right kind of gear to use for whitefish and then we came out today and uh, and showed them uh, where and where and how to do it and uh, it worked really well. One of the things that I really like about fishing for whitefish is you often find them in quite shallow water where it's very clear um, and that means you can see them. Uh, you can watch individual fish and so you can cast your fly or your bobber out and see a fish approaching and watch watch it notice your fly or notice your lure, swim towards it, and make that decision, am I going to bite, am I going to swim past. Showing that to the kids, particularly today when it was nice and calm and the water was very clear, uh, was, a, was great. I was really happy that we could do that and I think it made for uh, very exciting fishing and also fishing where you can learn a lot because you're watching uh, the fish's reaction to your fly or to your lure. So the kids uh, use spinning rods and with them we uh, used a, tied a bobber to the top of it and the bobber is a, it's called the adjustable bobber and you can basically run it up and down the line to get the right depth. And you can also fill it up with water to allow it to be cast nice and far and also that it has the right buoyancy because you don't want it to be too buoyant and you don't want it to have no buoyancy. So dialing in those different variables are things you have to do when you fish for whitefish. From the bobber it goes down to a little weight. Uh, the weight can either be a little um, snap-on weight of some sort or it can be a various types of weight you can put on the end of it and that goes to a little swivel and that swivel makes sure that the weight doesn't go down any farther. From that swivel we tie a leader. A leader can be various lengths but it doesn't have to be too long, maybe a foot, maybe up to two feet um, and you stick a little fly at the end of that and you use six pound test. You use very very light line uh, because you want to be able to sort of trick the, trick the whitefish into taking that little bug in the water as it's dancing around under there because we're trying to mimic their natural food source. Tell me a little bit about um, sort of what it was like, like hooking that fish and landing it and that kind of thing. It was great. It was a bit of a rush of adrenaline because it was kind of flat all day. But once you get it, you like you watch it. I watched it go on, yeah, it really and it was just great to see it come on and then right, flip around. Again. Took a bit of fight. Didn't really want to get to the boat. But once we got it in, it was a great experience. Hey, another one. Keep him over the boat. <laughs> He'll spit it out. That is a nice one. That's one of those big guys that was cruising for sure. Yeah. Hold him up. <laughs> Keep them over the boat. <laughs> we'll spit it out if we're not careful. Today was probably one of my best experiences recently because the water was pretty clear. So we could see all of the fish around the boat and they were really close. And you could see them actually take your hook. And you could see when they didn't like your fly. So you could change it and figure out what would be best. The kids had a, had a really good time, I think, watching the fish in the, in the clear water in the shallows where we tend to find white fish. Uh, and uh, we, we caught quite a few. Um, and uh, the kids were pretty excited to, to catch what was often their first white fish. And 
I think they'll enjoy them tonight as well. They're going to be uh, cleaning them and having them for supper. So all around a nice, um, a nice complete package of learning how to do something, doing it, and then, and then benefiting from that. So uh, I'm really pleased with, uh, with what we did today. The Yukon Fish and Game Association is really pleased to be doing this. Uh, you know, we're working with Environment Yukon, Government of Yukon, we're working with Conservation Officer Services, we're working with H2O Trout Fitter and a number of other partners to deliver this, to try to get more people into fishing for whitefish. So uh, for the Fish and Game Association, getting kids out, getting Yukoners out and sustainably fishing and hunting and participating in the resource is really what it's all about and uh, it's really great that these 15 kids have had an opportunity to do something like this at this camp. Yeah, the highlights of the day, catching fish with all my friends and just having a great time in the outdoors in the Yukon.